Sema, aren't you? A letter. I was told to deliver it to you by the back door. I simply ask that you marry someone from the same realm as us. You misunderstand. England is a nation divided into two worlds. I refer, of course, to the gentry and the commoners. Quite the sour face. If I was half that upset, I would do something about it. It's not worth it. Oh. Ah. I'm ever so happy you came. I'm truly grateful for the invitation. My father sends you his regards. This is all rather embarrassing. Not at all. It's rather lovely. It captures your charm quite well, I think. The artist has a fine touch indeed. Do I really look like that? Oh, perhaps they mentioned it to you already, but your father suggested that I invite you for a drive sometime. Huh? Does that prospect displease you? Of course not. I'd be delighted. Truly? Truly. Eleanor, your portrait is delightful. Indeed. Brimming with elegance. Upon closer inspection, the mouth is all wrong. I'm going Pardon to commission a different painter for my portrait, certainly. Alice, don't be rude. Fanny, all I meant is that Eleanor was more lovely than her portrait. You know, look at her. Go ahead and say it. Say what? You're giving her the wrong impression. Just tell the girl your feelings already. That's what you're thinking. I know you. I'll be courteous, but that doesn't mean I'm going along with my father's wishes. I didn't say a single word. What is it? I know that face. You have something you want to say. Don't be bashful. It's fine. Um, may I, um, may I take a half-day holiday next week, ma'am? Next week, you say? I know it will be an inconvenience to you. With your leg. It's fine. Huh? I'll make do. Take the whole day off if you like. You have somewhere you want to go, I presume? You've been a great help to me recently. You deserve it. Just promise me you'll make the most of your time. Yes. Go check my chest of drawers upstairs. You should find a burgundy muslin dress in there. You can wear that when you go out. Huh? It was mine when I was younger, so the style's a bit dated, but I think the size should be right at least. I'm sure you'll look beautiful. One's clothes are important when meeting a gentleman, all the more so when he's a gentleman that you happen to fancy. You're far too easy to read, my dear.
I've never seen the Crystal Palace before. Years back, in 1851, the Great Exhibition was held here in London, in Hyde Park specifically. This modern wonder, made from glass and iron, was built as a pavilion for the event. A year after the Great Exhibition, it was rebuilt here in Sydenham. Works of art from all over the world, countless species of birds, tropical plants, all gathered here to form a paradise on Earth. How do you know so much? I just read the guidebook. <laughs> this is a sort of symbol of the Crystal Palace. It's often used as a meeting place. It's 27 feet tall and was made from 8,960 pounds of crystal glass. At the time of the opening ceremony, it, uh... It's lovely. Hmm. Let's see. Over there is Byzantine. And that's Romanesque. Which do you prefer? Uh, I don't know much about it either, so whichever, really. <laughs> In that case, let's start with the closest. It's marvelous. This represents ancient Rome. It's not a copy, it's real? That seems to be the case. This is a model of the temple it comes from. See here? It's a part of the front entrance. Seems so thin when you look at it like this. And that's just the start. Here's the Egyptian corner. I wonder how they moved those massive statues all the way here. These sphinxes apparently were made to guard tombs. It seems to be in rather poor taste to drag a guardian away from its watch post. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Don't be frightened. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Strange, aren't they? They look like something out of a picture book. And they spent such a fortune creating them, too. Initially, the building of the Crystal Palace was opposed by both Parliament and the public. The plan was nearly quashed several times, but Prince Albert's strength of will persevered in the end, and here we have it. When I look at this monument to his determination, I feel I have the courage to overcome anything. I sound naive, don't I? <laughs> no. It's a bit chilly out here. Let's go back inside and have some tea. All right. A cafe. Let's see. Over here. Uh, Mr. Jones! There you are. Heavens, I thought I'd lost you. Me too. But why did you think to come here? Because when we first arrived, you said the fountain was used as a meeting place, so I thought if you were anywhere, then you would likely be right here. Then we were thinking exactly the same thing. I knew you'd be here. Like we've traveled across the whole world together. Not only that, we accomplished it all on foot. You can do a lot in a day if you put your mind to it. There's plenty more. Hmm? 
Why, there's a library and a photo gallery. And on Saturdays, they hold grand performances in the concert hall. The Northern Water Tower has an observation platform, too. It makes me dizzy just hearing about it. In the summer, there are fireworks you can watch, right from here. Fireworks? We'll have to come again once they start. It's amazing. They look like a rainbow. Niagara Falls in the sky. The exhibition will be closing in 15 minutes. The Crystal Palace is now closing. Please make your way to the exit. And finally, they found me, looking at the models, completely nonchalant. Then you weren't lost at all. On the contrary, I was exactly where I wanted to be. I couldn't understand what my father was so angry about at all. <laughs> But then I realized I wasn't the only one missing. My mother was gone as well. Oh. So my father dragged me and my sister around by the hand, searching for our lost mother every which way. I swear she's like having another lost child to take care of, he kept saying. <laughs> Funny how it all seems like ancient history now. It's gotten rather quiet. I lost track of the time. Well, the sun is setting. I suppose we'd better go. All right. This isn't good. I can't believe this. You can't open the door? It's locked from the outside. We're trapped. They closed up every one. Someone? Anyone? Uh, uh, please, no! But... Um. It's all my fault. This turned out to be an awful day. Don't say that. <laughs> hmm? I'm struck with a strange feeling being here like this. I don't know if I've ever had such fun in my life. Mm -hmm. But I'm also afraid. Huh? I may be happy now, but I know it won't last. And try as I might, I can't help but feel ill at ease. You're ill at ease? But why is that? Because of all that's happened to me. Oh, forgive me, I'm talking too much. No. Please don't apologize. That's the first time I've ever heard you talk about yourself in that way, Emma. Hmm. You may enter. Hmm. Have you seen Mr. William? Who is asking? Mr. Jones hasn't heard any word from him. I thought you might know where he is. Stevens, was it? Look. Is that Mr. William's jacket? Perhaps it is. In which case, perhaps I've been William all along and you've merely mistaken me for Hakim. Why not tell Mr. Jones his son already went to bed? I might, if that were the case. Come now, surely there's no need to say such boorish things.
The moon certainly is bright, isn't it? Yes, it truly is. The insects are buzzing. But the birds are asleep. Aren't you sleepy? I normally go to bed much later than this. It must be difficult. It's okay. <laughs> I'm used to it. I, uh... Yes? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you can talk to me. Huh? No. It's really nothing. <sighs> Tired after all? No. It's just that I've seen so many incredible things today, I think my eyes must be in shock. in blazes? Don't tell me you were here all night. Wake up. The door's open. It's a fine morning. I suppose I was tired after all. It's fine. curtains. Sir? I've only just gotten to sleep. Were you occupied with something last night? Mm. Where's William? He is sleeping, sir. Sleeping? In the middle of the day? He adamantly requested to remain in bed, sir. For goodness sake, what in the world is that boy thinking? I do apologize. And after you went to all this trouble to come and see him. A shame, but he must be terribly exhausted. I'm afraid nothing can be done, Eleanor. We'll simply have to call on William another time. Mother, but we've been waiting for nice weather for days. The sun will shine again. Don't make such a fuss. <laughs> if you would, Miss Eleanor, I have a suggestion. William doesn't have a partner for the upcoming ball, so if he would be gracious enough to join him, he would surely be eager to make up for the rudeness he showed today. You're certain he won't mind? Not at all, my dear. I'm sure he'll be elated. Then, of course! I'm pleased to hear it. I will inform William whenever he sees fit to awaken. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Extraordinarily well, as it so happens. What time did you return? Oh, well, ma'am, I... Mm. Smells lovely. Mm. It'll be ready in a moment. I can't wait. <laughs> 